Hey up everybody, I'm on, carrying on with my water tanks now, I think this is part 3 and I'm just, I've am just i just started to drill the holes for where all the bushes are going to fit I've just made a start of doing a few, uh, that's them in ends and I'm just about to start drilling the bottom where the water feed is going to go on the balance pipe etc uh, so once I get all these holes drilled then I can clean all my joints up and then I can soft solder everything together. <laughs> Right, so then for, for anybody that's not done any soldering before, you've got to make sure that all your, all your jointing areas are thoroughly cleaned up and free from grease. Um, all your bushes have got to be cleaned up and free from grease and all the places inside where the bushes are going to come through so the solder will flow through. So that's the first job then and I've already been around once and I'm going to go around again with some emery cloth then I go around with some wire wool and uh, for any places I can't get into very good I'm using these sanding blocks. Once you're happy with all your cleaning up of your areas that's going to be soldered, it's ready for assembling now. And while I'm assembling it, I'll use this non acid based flux, general purpose, regular soldering flux. Just washing all the flux off it, off the tank now it's finished soldered. Then it's the moment of truth. Side's okay. Over to this side now. That's okay. 
That's it then. Back over on workbench now. I've got my tanks cleaned up and I've had some water and tried them both and they both seal okay. So that's a bonus. When, you, when you're soldering anything like this that's subject to any slight distortion, where I've soldered my angle onto my side of my tank, if I've got any um, gaps, slight gaps with the, uh, you know, with the cooling and the expansion, etc., I just put a bit of Loctite in, and then I save all my brass dust and filings, and just sprinkle a bit in, and when it goes off, just file it off, and it looks, you can't tell. I've got various things, I've got wood dust, oak, steel, aluminium, cast iron. Before I leave this then, just for now, I, I thought I'd just explain for any be any beginners out there, what the pipe works actually for. So this one will feed my hand pump and this one will feed the water to the axle pump. Then the middle ones, they're going to uh, have a, a pipe connected to them and it's called a balance pipe to keep the tanks both at the same level. Uh, and then that will have a T-junction in the middle with a valve on to drain them. And then this one is the feed from the pump, the return back, so the water is going to go to the pump and return back to this one. But before it comes into this, there'll be a T piece on with a pipe on off to me, that goes off to my clack valve. So what will happen then is when you've got your bypass valve open, the water comes through the least resistance up into the tank through the bypass valve and back into the tank and then when your bypass valve's closed then it goes off to the clack valve and into the boiler so it's to regulate your boiler I'm going to put my bypass valve in the tank and on the tank here I've made this long adapter to screw onto that boss because obviously I can't get my hand in that in down there to, to put a pipe fitting on I can't get physically get my hand in so I've made that extension piece and that's going to go into that return boss and screw in and tighten up I can get a spanner on that now and then my pipe will come off that come to the bypass valve inlet and then return through that pipe and that'll be cut off so it, the water then returns into the tank and I'll be able to see it through my, my filler cap and then when the bypass valve's closed the water can't no longer go anywhere so it'll shoot off to the clack valve onto the boiler and that, so that's that then and then the other bosses which I put in they're just blind bosses for the fixing of the tanks to the cab and to the sides and then these front two are for the handrails same again blind bosses and my handrails are going to fit in there what I've got to do now then is just do the the tops cut them to size put a filler cap in and I think I'll do that on next video so I'm going to sign off for now then and if you've not seen my other videos I'm making this loco from scratch take a look at them and if not, I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching then. Bye for now.